What's up guys, Tom Yellow here with another beer video and for my number 100th uh, beer video, I got a Great Notions Double Stack, a 11% Imperial Stout with a ton of maple syrup in. I've uh, had this before many times and every time man, it was just like, I, I couldn't get like a huge pour of it because it was just so like, it's, it's a dessert stout, so like it's very sweet, very decadent, um, but nonetheless very, very good. And this coming out of a, a, a 16 ounce can at 11% ABV, man, it's gonna take me a while to uh, finish it, but here is the can. Uh, very similar artwork, as you guys know from my other videos. You got Sasquatch here with a stack of pancakes and a coffee in his hand, you know, just chilling. Um, I'm very excited to have this. Haven't had it in a while. Um, this was canned on 517. So it's about a week and a few days <clears throat> old. Um, it's been sitting out for about three to five minutes as I was finishing up the uh, first half of the Golden State and uh, Houston Rockets game. Um, let's get this into a glass, see what it looks like, smells like, and tastes like. And this is a huge, huge glass, by the way, if you can't tell on the camera, it looks kind of big. Um, this is a very large glass, so it looks like, it'll look like there's very little beer in there, I think. But trust me, there's beer in there. Um, let's call that good. Actually, it looks like there's beer in there, I guess. Uh, more than I thought it would look like, I suppose. Uh, poured with, I mean, my pour was pretty not aggressive at all, but it poured with about, I'm gonna say, quarter finger of uh, very milk, dark mocha, um, milk chocolatey head. Dissipated very quickly. It's almost gone now. There's only a film left. Uh, it's pretty much pitch black, man. I got a light up over there. Can't really see through it. It just looks pitch black. Uh, let's get into the aroma. I'm assuming this glass with this huge, huge freaking bowl. The uh, maple syrup is gonna be freaking crazy in this thing. And look at all that, dude. It looks, looks beautiful. All right. Maple syrup, man, and of course alcohol. Sorry about that, my phone's vibrating. It's actually really hard to swirl in this thing. I'm trying not to spill it. There we go. Tons and tons of maple syrup, man. You get slight. Uh, dark chocolate as well, and you also can get the uh, alcohol in this. You get the booziness. It smells freaking sweet too, like like maple syrup, literally like maple syrup. Should have poured a little bit more beer in here. I don't want to tip the glass too far. Getting slight, slight dark fruits in here too, like raisins and plums, but it's not like that. I guess that noticeable you got to be searching for it almost and I knew like with this kind of style uh, I was kind of searching for that for the dark fruits of the beer so I kind of I'm kind of picking up on that but I think if you weren't actually looking for it you would just get the dark chocolate um, of course the maple syrup and the booziness of the beer yeah nothing else uh, to say about the uh, aroma man let's get into it cheers First off, mouthfeel, solid, man, solid. Um, not quite syrupy, but it is definitely thick. I take that back. You swish it around a little bit, it actually gets thicker. Kind of syrup-like, kind of maple syrupy, uh, but not obviously not that thick. I don't think there's any beer out there with that kind of viscosity, so. That's real good. Finish is sweet, man, sweet. But slight bitterness from like coffee beans. Up front is bitterness. It's like multi coffee bean, coffee ro roasted coffee bean bitterness. It fades out, it actually gets, so you know when you drink coffee, like different variations of coffee or whatever. I'm not like a coffee person, but I drink coffee just to drink coffee. Um, it actually fades out to have this like sourness that some coffees have. Um, you get a little bit of that sourness as it finishes with the uh, coffee bitterness and then it hits you with that slight, very silky, very smooth uh, sweetness, man, to finish it off. Super nice, you actually, and of course you get 
the alcohol in the back of your throat as you as it goes down at 11 percent i mean no surprise there right This is damn good, man. It's only been sitting up for, like I said, I think I said two, three, maybe five minutes. I think as it sits, the viscosity will get thicker um, and maybe more of that maple syrup and chocolate will come out. Cause right now there's very, very, if at all, dark chocolate. Like you get very little, I feel like. Um, you gotta be really looking for it. Primarily I'm getting some of the uh, dark fruits. I'm getting some raisiness raisininess, uh, I'm not even sure if that's a word, but you get some of that, um, not, not quite plums or anything like that. You definitely get the uh, syrupy, maple-y, like, viscosity and taste to it. Definitely you get that. And then the coffee bitterness and sourness that finishes us off. Uh, really, really good beer, man, <laughs> really good. That's, that's exactly why there was a huge freaking line, or a long line, not a huge line, a long line uh, to get this, and I know not everyone got it, um, that line was actually pretty damn crazy and by the time I got there there was only about a pallet uh, worth of beer left so I mean not everyone got it man people know this stuff is freaking nuts so I mean everyone and their mom came out for it check out that lacing there on the glass super nice man uh, and it's actually getting some condensation there on the outside but um, this was this is Great Notions double stack in 11% ABV Imperial Stout with a ton, a ton, a ton of maple syrup added to it, man. Um, very good beer. Highly, like, highly recommend it. Uh, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, comments down below. I don't know why I'm uh, not being able to run through my routine. All right, let's start over. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comments down below. Subscribe for more videos. And as always, dream big dreams and believe all things are possible. There we go. Cheers. Thank you for watching my 100th video, man. Didn't think I was going to make that many beer videos. I got to get up on my sneaker videos because I have half as many as uh, beer videos as I do. Uh, I have half as many sneaker videos as I do beer videos. It is not the beer hitting me, I promise, I promise. Anyways, cheers, thank you for watching.